first started playing guitar, I, you know, I was in high school, so I, I started playing guitar really kind of late compared to a lot of people. Um, and as soon as I got the, the bug to play guitar, I didn't really spend a lot of time <laughs> at school after that. So, I mean, I was always at school, but I was always outside of classroom practicing. So you're hearing uh, something very honest. And so I always try to find a sound that that's clean. It's not too cluttered, you know, and then I can then I can clutter it up from there. <laughs> so in terms of the live rig, it, it's always changing. Um, but for the most part, it's it's based on sort of old fenders, a lot of clean headroom um, and then high powered speakers. And I would say that comes directly from, uh, you know, looking at what Stevie Ray Vaughan was using, looking at what Albert Collins was using, um, looking at uh, Jimi Hendrix, those kind of sounds. Um, so a lot of those are, are big, high-powered amplifiers um, and a lot of clean headroom, a lot of clarity. So what we have running today, though, is uh, I'm just running straight into the amp, and we're miking. Obviously, you see a pair of 57s here. So we're miking the speakers that are on board in the amps. We're getting a feel of what that is. But we're actually here at Mates in North Hollywood, which is an amazing rehearsal space, and we're running it through a PA in here. So you're actually getting a, a feel of what this sounds like in a, in a context where you're running it through a, a sound system, where you're running it through a PA. So if you were at a club and you brought this and they put a mic in front of it, this would be kind of the feel that you would have. So yeah, this would be like a clean setting, something I might do. Um, again, so if I was sitting around like, okay, I gotta get loosened up, gotta warm up. So, be like. something like that um, so if I was like let's say if I was in a backstage setting and I wanted to you know be warming up I would play something like this just to kind of get loosened up um, and kind of get a feel and, and feel inspired while I'm playing it so it would be something like this <laughs> does have the ability to uh, to interact with you know whether you're hitting it hard with a fuzz type pedal or a, a vibe type pedal or wah you can even get feedback out of it sometimes if you're lucky and so I think it's like um, it does feel a lot like a much bigger amplifier like any amp any amp whether it's a super high-end amp or it's a, you know any across the board different pedals are gonna work uh, in different ways with different amps, right? So you're going to get different results. Some pedals just like certain amps for a number of reasons. Um, and so for today, these are sort of the, the pedals that I find react very well um, in terms of all the vibes that I, you know, that, that I like. You know, what, what we have here is a, a Tube Screamer, an old late 70s 808. Um, and then this is a an Ox Vibe, uh, new pedal, fantastic vibe pedal that my friend Ken makes from uh, Ox Fuzz. This is a uh, Chicago Iron Octavia pedal, um, and this is a uh, Cesar Diaz built uh, fuzz face, square face pedal, and an old, an old uh, Vox Clyde McCoy Wah pedal. And then we have a EP3 Echoplex here. So I'm down. So we could start with, uh, you know, see what this sounds like with uh, a Tube Screamer. So I don't have it set for a whole lot of gain. I'm just pushing the level on it so it kind of hits the front end. But uh, this is what it would sound like. So we have, that's just the amp by itself, right? So it would be like. So then if I kick this in, it would be like. So 
that's kind of a tube screamer type sound, you know, but through this, through this amp and it's, you know, it's fun. What we have on right now is uh, right here, this guy, the uh, EP3 Echoplex, my good friend, um, with Howlin' Wolf up top, just for reminder. Um, and uh, yeah, and so I'm running that Echoplex EP3, and right now I'm kicking on the Aux Vibe. And this will give you an idea of, you know, what, what this pedal sounds like. I'm just play a few chords, you know, like a... So yeah, this is the Octavia sound, just the Octavia by itself, um, and then just the just the Yamaha amp by itself. So it would sound like. <laughs> can actually handle getting hit pretty hard with whether it's the Ox Vibe or the Tube Screamer or the Fuzz. It can kind of handle those pedals pretty well. Um, and we can do the same with the Wah just to hear a little bit of, you know, this is an old Clyde, uh, script Clyde that was the winner. I had about 20 of them and because I'm kind of nuts that way. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> This would be with the fuzz on.
think we're all pretty convinced it sounds pretty good in here. <laughs> it's cool.